to Councillor Eric. Okay, thank you. So, of course, we want to cure more cancers. Uh, still a long way to go. We will not cure more metastatic cancers in the next, uh, or not a large uh, difference in the next 12 months. Um, we will see more cancers, uh, that's clear, so we have to tackle that uh, in this setting. And I think one of the major issues we will have to tackle um, in the next uh, 12 months, but also afterwards, um, is the increasing costs um, of, um, of, of our treatments, not only of drugs, but also of all different treatment options, because they all contribute to that. Uh, this was already alluded to. Um, and yeah, if we don't do our work very well as, as, as oncologists, um, then we, we may ask by the, by the society, by the politicians to do our work and then they may uh, restrict on that. And that goes in different ways, uh, going from centers of excellence, centers of expertise to better selection uh, in this setting. And regarding metastatic colorectal cancer, it's especially regarding better selection. Uh, the bar for approval of new drugs will be probably higher in this setting, and we really need drugs that make, uh, make a difference uh, in this setting. Um, and we really need, and that's going to be, and that's the team, let's say we need to find markers, because if we have only one drug, we don't need a marker, that's obvious, but if we have a long list, and uh, René Bernard gave this morning an excellent keynote lecture on some of the directions where we're going towards. Um, I think it's easy to predict that the list here on the right side um, will be longer um, in the near future with some of the drugs, but not one single drug, but with some of the combinations uh, that René Bernard's outlined this morning um, in um, different combinations tackling the signal transaction pathways on different levels. Uh, and that's the way uh, we will go forward. Uh, we will see at the next ASCO meeting and at next ESMO meetings uh, uh, important data on combinations of these different targeted agents, uh, uh, BRAF plus EGFR inhibitors, plus or minus uh, PI3 kinase inhibitors, they will not be mature for use, these combinations in clinical practice, but I, I guess you will see some astonishing uh, results uh, in this setting. Uh, and with that, with these new drugs coming, uh, we need, of course, better markers uh, to integrate that in, in the algorithm. Another aspect where, where we may see also within the next 12 or 18 months um, also data is on local regional uh, therapy. Um, today, local regional therapy in colorectal cancer is, as you can see on top of the slide, um, um, it's, uh, there are some phase three data in later lines, in third line of colorectal cancer um, with the radioembolization in patients with liver limited disease, uh, that it prolongs uh, the progression free survival. Um, there are now major efforts ongoing also with this radioembolization in combination with chemotherapy um, in early lines. Uh, there are some trials of uh, the, the uh, CERT spheres. Uh, plus uh, Folfox, plus Bevazuzumab, um, um, phase three trials, different phase three trials. If these trials meet the endpoints, uh, they will change our treatment algorithm also, and we will implement this uh, technically demanding techniques also in the near future, um, then it, more upfront in clinical practice. And we will have these results, as I mentioned, within 12 to 18 months. Uh, so that will drive um, also our continuum of care um, in the near future, as well as better selection um, with some of these uh, new targeted agents uh, that I outlined, uh, b uh, also based on some of the markers uh, that were discussed uh, uh, this morning. So the focus of the further treatment will be on the strategy um, uh, in this uh, setting, a bit more data on continuation of angiogenesis inhibitors, um, the choice um, of uh, cetuximab, um, panitumab versus bevacizumab, uh, uh, you know the FIRE 3 study. Um, uh, we don't know yet what to do in our center. We didn't change our clinical practice at ASCO and at ESMO. We'll, we'll see the, the, uh, the other bigger U.S. study. If that study, of course, is, um, is as positive as the, as the European study, then we will change our algorithms and we will change the choices of uh, the different antibodies in this, uh, in this regard. We have changed, uh, but it's not yet implemented everywhere, um, um, the selection for EGFR antibodies. Uh, you know that until last year, Keras 
exon 2 mutation testing was a standard. Uh, now, recently, in the last couple of months, uh, we saw some data that we should do expanded RAS uh, testing, uh, meaning the other exons on KRAS and also NRAS testing. Within 12 months, that should be and will be implemented in all centers that wants to be up to date and to do medicine up to 2014 uh, level uh, in this uh, um, in this regard. Uh, also, we will test more for BRAF uh, because of some of the topics also that uh, that were discussed earlier today. Uh, um, the BRAF population um, is a specific uh, population in this setting. Elderly. Um, I, I alluded to that also when, when I showed the slide on the tsunami, on the increasing in, uh, incidents, uh, mainly due to the fact that the population is becoming older. Um, we will tailor our treatments more. We will treat more older patients, uh, but we have to select them. We have to, uh, to integrate uh, more adequate tools for the evaluation of elderly patients um, in that setting. The platforms like the spectacular platform of the RTC, are being integrated. Um, they don't, will not have practice-changing implications within the next 12 months, but a bit later they will have. So we have to invest in that also uh, in this uh, situation. Uh, so some of the focuses where we have to work on in the future. Um, and the only way, um, if we don't do all, and if we don't tackle all these different uh, aspects, um, yeah, then we will not make progress. And the progress has to come from collaboration from researchers, medical teams, um, um, and with, uh, with all this, the payers, um, the authorities, with all this, everybody will benefit um, around the patient. And that's, uh, that's I'm sure that this, uh, these ideas that they become more mature, um, uh, or many organizations fight for that, uh, but that's coming true, and that's a realization also that uh, that, that's, that, that has to be integrated in clinical practice um, for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eric, for this very insightful outlook. Um